A while back, I did a video sharing some classic scenes from Lonesome Dove. I am a big Lonesome Dove fan, and I learned from the reaction I got to that video that there are a great many people who feel the same way as I do. There were so many great scenes in the movie that I decided to do a couple more. Hopefully you will enjoy them. The first scene occurred early in the movie. It is a great early introduction to some of the characters that are so important to the overall genius of the movie. Most importantly, the two main stars, Augustus McRae and Woodrow Call. I'm glad you got here before fall, Luke. There's a mission. It's supper time. Either that or old Bolivar was calling up bandits. We hear you. We hear you. Jonah, we hear you. I got you, Woodrow. As long as you worked around horses, I think you'd know better than to turn your back on a highway mare. You want to thank something, why don't you thank that roof back up on the barn? Instead of sitting in the shade all the time. Well, I'm glad I ain't scared to be lazy. I don't recommend you much. Can we eat now, or do we have to wait till the argument's over? <laughs> you will starve if you wait for that. Many thanks. You ever get tired of loafing? I reckon you can get a job waiting on tables. Oh, I had a job waiting tables once. It was on a riverboat. I wasn't older than Newt there, but I had to give it up. How come? Well, I was too young and pretty, and a whore wouldn't let me alone. Listening to you brag don't improve the taste of these Mexican strawberries, none. The only way to get better food around here is by shooting Bob. And another thing, Bob, I want you to quit whacking that dinner bell for supper. See, you can whack it at noon if you want to, but let off doing it in the evening. See, a man with any sense at all can tell when it's sundown without you whacking that bell. General Robert E. Lee freed the slaves. I can't whack it if I want to. It was Abe Lincoln who freed the slaves, Bob, not General Lee. He didn't free Mexicans anyway, Bob. It was uh, Americans that he freed. You're in over your head, Pete. It was a bunch of Africans Abe Lincoln freed. No more American than uh, Paul here. I'm American, by God. Well, you was born in Scotland, as I recall. Well, you were still dragging on the tip when they brought you over here. <laughs> I reckon I'm as American as anybody from Tennessee. Well, you boys can sleep easy tonight knowing Ranger Captain Woodrow F. Paul is out there guarding the river. Keep you safe from Indians and Mexican bandits. And what Indians? They ain't no Indians no more. We cleaned them all out of here. Well, how about Blue Duck? You never got him. No, we never got that half pretty. Blue Duck ain't around here nowhere. He's rangers, but farther north. Well, then how come the captain goes to the river every night? Oh, he just misses a wild old days around here when he had somebody to that wit, that's all. Oh, what that bet if I want to. The following scene occurred late in the four-part miniseries. If you watched the film to this point, you most likely have formed a very serious fondness for Augustus McRae. In my opinion, Robert Duvall did a masterful job portraying Captain McRae, and viewers of the film almost universally have a strong emotional attachment to his character. Tommy Lee Jones is equally impressive to Mr. Duval in this poignant scene. That's low with your 
Took you long enough to get your Woodrow. I told him it should come off. Well, he'd still take it off. No, sir. You wouldn't kill me for trying to save your life? No. But I'll darn sure to save you. You don't boss me, Wood. I'm the one man you don't boss. I, I never figured you for a suicide ghost. What do you want legs for anyway? You don't like to do nothing but sit on the porch and drink whiskey. I like to kick a pig every once in a while. How would I do that? Or a drink, Woodrow. Arguing with you always makes me thirsty. Why don't you relax? You can't save me. You ain't gonna become a drunkard over this, are you? No, I'll go ahead and die if you want to. I don't care. Well, you act like you hold it against me. I've walked this earth my whole life with my pride, you see. Now, if that's lost, let the rest be lost with it. Because there's certain things my vanity won't abide. Your goddamn vanity. <sighs> well, I guess you're going to want a fancy funeral too, ain't you? Now, I've been thinking of that. I have a favor to ask of you, and I'll do you a favor in return. What favor? I want you to bury me down yonder. Clara's Archie. Clara's orchard. I don't recall seeing she had one. Remember that little grove of pecans by the creek we stopped at back in Texas? Back in Texas? You want me to haul you back to Texas? Well, we just got to Montana. I know where we just got to, Woodrow. I'm the one dying here, ain't I? Well, I imagine Clara would be glad to give you a place in that little family cemetery she's got there. That'd make you feel better. You mean you'd bury me next to that dumb horse trader she was married to? Hell, why didn't you just throw me out the window right now and be done with it? Texas. Yes, Texas. That's your favor to me, and that's my favor to you, too. I'm giving you a reason to go off on another adventure so you don't get bored being a rancher. Which you ain't the one anyway. You're one of a kind, Augustus. We're gonna miss you. Even you? Even me. Well, is there anything else? Are you sure you don't want me to hold you down to the South Pole and bury you down there? All you gotta do is ask. <laughs> yeah, there is something else. I want you to tell Newt that you're his daddy. I've already told him myself, but I want him to hear it from you. You ought not told him that. What are you going to do, shoot me for it? It's time you stop mistreating that boy. I don't know that I ever have mistreated him. Well, not giving him your name is mistreating him. Now, he's the only son you'll ever have. I don't know that he is my son. I know it, and you don't. You're stubborn. No wonder women don't like you. I've come with drones. It's been quite a party. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.